One of the components of the cover letter is suggesting peer reviewers. How should I go about suggesting reviewers? Uh, the suggestion for reviewers should be based on how uh, qualified they are in the specific area of the research. Uh, and uh, it's important uh, to choose the reviewers on that particular basis. It is in the author's best interest to have a paper reviewed by knowledgeable and critical experts in the field. Uh, so suggestions of reviewers who are, who are friends of the author, uh, not necessarily experts in the field, is not going to be helpful in the long run. So the important thing is to suggest people uh, who are knowledgeable, who can understand the main point of the paper, who can make useful suggestions. But it is also important if possible, to suggest people who are not necessarily well-known, well-known to the editor. Because if everybody puts down that a Nobel Prize winner should review their work, it's clear that that Nobel Prize winner will not be asked to review the work. So identifying knowledgeable but otherwise uh, less famous people uh, is very useful both to the editor and to the author. So suggesting referees is a very important part of the cover letter and of the initial process. Um, we, I always have a list of people in mind for any field that I think are, are good referees, so those are often recommended, and that's good. It helps me confirm in my mind these are, these are good people for this manuscript, and, and it makes sense, so I definitely will go with those people. Sometimes people suggest others that I, that, I, that I didn't know, and that's also wonderful. But one thing I would stress is give me all the details of the, the new people you're bringing to me. I'll be very excited for you to list new referees that I don't know in a field. That will definitely help me with your manuscript and with other manuscripts. But if it's just a name and it's sort of an obscure email account, then it's hard for me. Then I have to go look up who they are, and it's a lot of work. So if you could just help us by, when you add new reviewers in the system, if they're not in the system at all, fill out all the details. Where are they? What's their email and everything? That, that's sort of a, a technical detail that would help. Are there any people I should avoid suggesting as reviewers? So when recommending reviewers, you know, you shouldn't recommend any of the co-authors on the manuscript, clearly. In general, you know, we probably won't use people at your institution, even if it's a large institution. You know, we, we try not to do that just to avoid making anyone uncomfortable in terms of conflict of interest. You generally shouldn't uh, list current collaborators. Often, if you, you know, we accidentally will pick your current collaborators because we don't know, and often they will tell you, They'll tell us, by the way, I'm a current collaborator, so I probably shouldn't do this. So pretty much everyone is on the up and up. But just to get more of your choices more likely to be selected, you know, don't list your current, current collaborators. Kind of thing. When making reviewer suggestions, uh, one should never uh, recommend someone who is already a collaborator. Um, it's not necessarily a good idea to recommend someone who has had a close working relationship with you uh, especially if it's directly related to the topic of the paper. Uh, so uh, someone who published the last paper, maybe they're not involved in this work, but they, they were heavily involved in the previous work. Uh, your, the, the, your thesis advisor just one year, two years out is, is still a bit too close. And often this does happen, and uh, the advisor will say, this was someone in my lab, and I think it's a little early for me to take a look at their work at this point. They've, they haven't really digressed from uh, our, our joint work. So I think you have to keep in mind that there needs to be a little bit of distance. Uh, it is appropriate to name people who are true colleagues but are also engaged in the field and are independent of your own work. Can I request that a specific researcher not review my paper? It's absolutely appropriate if you feel that there are one or two people who absolutely should not review your work for a variety of reasons. Uh, to name them, uh, and those, uh, those are things that are taken into consideration by the editorial office. Do you always use the reviewers that the author suggests? So the author's suggested reviewers are helpful to the editor, and some editors always use one of those, or perhaps two. Some editors rarely use the suggested, uh, the suggested ones, but I think it's uh, there's no set rule, uh, but if the suggestions make sense to the editor, certainly I expect one or perhaps two of them would be asked to review the paper. Uh, we're, 
we try to use reviewers that the authors suggest, not all of them, some of them. But we don't always do that because we will look and, and see if a particular reviewer already has a, a paper under review from our journal or has uh, just recently done that. Uh, and if that's the case, then we probably will not send uh, that submission to that particular reviewer.